In B15, I'm going to develop this idea a little bit more of why professional video producers need to follow the law. Um, well, they need to follow the law because you could lose your reputation. If you make your living as a video producer, then you have a reputation based on how well you make videos and how well how much people trust you to make videos. If you get a reputation as someone who breaks the law in videos, you can cause other people to lose money and therefore they can um, give you a bad reputation and the, the people can think that you are bad at making videos. Um, this could lead to lawsuits. If you break the law, you as a video producer could be sued, once again, ruining your reputation. Bottom line, if you make uh, bad legal decisions and you're a professional trying to do this for a living, those decisions could affect your ability to make your living. You could lose your job, you could get fired, you could never get hired again, you could get blacklisted, you could lose the ability to make a living as a video producer simply because you made a mistake with copyright law. It has happened to many people before and as students I encourage you to think of a difference between your personal life what you might do at home with media and your professional life what you want to do if you're gonna do this and get paid to make a living with it um, by the way I often have students who say but this seems unfair I don't like the law there's a uh, all kinds of problems with the law you might have a case but there are only so many things you can do uh, first of all, if you'd like to opt out, opt out of all these copyright problems, use Creative Commons. It was designed for people like you who are looking for a more creative, innovative way to um, avoid the issues of copyright law. Um, please tell your congressperson, write a letter, pick up the phone and explain to the person representing you in Congress that you think that copyright laws are out of date or might need to be modernized or changed for the internet um, and, um, and your congressperson, your elected official would need to hear that from you as um, you know, a representative of you. You are free to campaign for copyright reform, to um, go through uh, march in the streets if, if that's what you need to do, um, create a campaign online, uh, fill out petitions, all the rest of it. These are ways that you can campaign against the law. They're, they're all legal, um, but it doesn't change the fact that the law is the law. And until the um, U.S. Congress changes the law according to the Constitution, we're all stuck with it. So. Um, be creative and work within the system, but um, you know, don't be afraid to try to change it if uh, if that's what you think is important.